hi guys this is Jody cooking welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna make some fish stew it's similar to stew fish and it also similar to seafood boil so here I have some king size prawns and I also have some snapper fish and I also have some fish fillet so that's what it look like So these are all of my seasoning. I'm using fish seasoning, all-purpose seasoning, everyday seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, smoked paprika, and it's one teaspoonful. And as you can see, I'm just blending all of my seasoning together like so. So after you blend all of your seasoning together, you're just going to sprinkle it all over on your seafood. As you can see, I'm just putting it in the creases of my fish also, okay? So now I'm just doing my prawns and that's how I do it. Just make sure the seasoning is all on your seafood because you want it to be nice and full of flavor, okay? And if you're gonna use fish fillet, you just make sure you take your time and dab the seasoning on it, okay? Because the fish fillet is very delicate, so make sure you take your time. And make sure you put the seasoning inside of your fish also, okay? And guys, you can always use your gloves if you want to, but sometimes I prefer to use my hands. As a matter of fact, I always use my hands. <laughs> I don't use gloves, to be honest. So guys, as you can see, all of my seafood is all seasoning and that's what it look like. As you can see, I leave back some of my seasoning. So these are some of my ingredients that I'm going to use also. I'm going to use some fresh thyme, some onions, one onions, and I'm also going to have some spring onions, some garlic, three cloves of garlic, and some pimento seed, one teaspoonful, okay? So these are my rest of my ingredients. As you can see, I've got some sweet corn. As you can see, I cut it up. That's one. I also have some carrot, some pumpkin, some scotch bonnet pepper, and some bell pepper. And guys, that's the amount that I'm going to use, okay? 
So I'm gonna also add some broccoli. The broccoli is totally optional guys. And I'm gonna also add some okra. And that's the amount that I'll be using, okay? So guys, I forgot to mention, I'm gonna also add some tomato. I had one tomato and I'm gonna also add my onions and my spring onions. And to my pot, I add at least three spoonful of vegetable oil. Wait for your oil to hot, then you can add all your herbs, okay? And I also add my garlic to my pot. And guys, you're just gonna give it a good stir and allow it to saute for at least two minutes. So after two minutes, that's what it look like. Guys, this is totally optional, but I'm gonna add a Grace Fish Tea flavored soup mix, okay? And as you can see right there, I've got a bowl with at least one cup of boiling hot water. So I pour the soup mix in my bowl and as you can see, I'm just stirring it. Guys, the soup mix is just gonna give it such a nice, nice flavor. And after, I'm just gonna pour it all in my pot. Make sure your stove is on a low heat, okay? So that's the remaining seasoning that I have left from the beginning of the video. So now I'm just going to pour it all in my pot. And guys, just give it a good stir and you can always taste your liking, okay? So after I add my seasoning, I'm just going to add my fish and my fish fillet. I'm not going to add my prawns because you know prawns easy to cook and you don't want it to be too tough, okay? Then after, you're just going to pour your gravy all over on the fish. And guys, that looks so good already. I'm telling you. Mm, mm, mm. So my fish been cooking for at least two minutes, no longer than that, because you don't want your fish to overcook. So now I'm just going to add my pumpkin and my carrot and my sweet corn, okay? And I'm also adding my pimento seed, okay?
and I'm also adding my shrimp and make sure you spread your shrimp all over in your pot okay Then you just want to pour all that delicious liquid all over on your seafood. And guys, I'm telling you, it looks absolutely delicious. And you're just going to allow it, guys, to cook for at least 6 minutes on a low heat, okay? So that's what it look like after six minutes and guys it looks so so yummy. Pata bubble. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna add my okra and I'm gonna also add my broccoli. And you're just gonna allow the broccoli and the okra to cook for at least three minutes. You know because you know it doesn't take long. Okay no longer than that. So I forgot to mention, I'm just going to add my fresh thyme also and my bell pepper. And guys, just look at that color. The color just looks so amazing. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm actually impressed. This whole dish is going to be so delicious. I hope you guys do try this recipe. And again, you just want to sprinkle all that liquid all over in your pot. Okay, like so. And I'm just gonna finish it off with at least one spoonful of butter, okay? And you just wanna just make sure it's melt all in your pot. So guys, it is finally finished and that's what it look like. And I'm telling you, it's looking so, 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 so yummy. Just look at that color and just look at that gravy. Just absolutely delicious. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to plate it up for you guys and show you how it looks on the plate. Okay? I'm just giving you guys just an up close look, so that's what it looks like. So guys, I'm just serving it with some boiled dumpling and with some sweet corn and with some Irish potato and that's what it look like. You can also serve it on its own, okay? Or even with some rice, whatever you preferred. So it is all plate up and that's what it look like. It looking so, so yummy. I cannot wait to dig in. Mm, mm, mm. I thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, to comment, subscribe, share to your family and to your friends and all over on your social media. I will really appreciate it. Until next time, bye, stay blessed.